of good health, of happiness, and of course for the continued blessings, that prayer that He would continue to bless us with such wonderful blessings of good health, of life, of love and family and so on. At this point in time, let us all close our eyes and bring to our minds that most benevolent form of Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra. Hari Om Hari Saraswatiye Namah Shri Guru Charan Kamale Dhyo Namu Namah Om Vakra Tunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvighanam Kuru Me Deva Sarvakareshu Sarvara Vinadhare Vipula Mangaladana Shile Bhaktarati Nashini Viranchi Hari Shavandi Kirti Pradhe Akhila Manorathade Mahade Vidya Pradayani Saraswati Naominityam Guru Rabrahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaram Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Lakshmi Karo Tukalyanam Arubhyam Sukha Sampara Mama Shatru Vinashaya Deepa Jyotir Namastute Nagindra Haraya Trilochanaya Bhashmangaragaya Maheshwaraya Nityaya Shudhaya Digambaraya Tasmena Karaya Namaha Shivaya Om Manujavang Maruta Tulya Vedam Jitendriyam Budhimatam Varishtam Vatatma Jamvanar Yuta Mukhyam Shiram Dutam Sharanam Prabhade Manujavang Maruta Tulya Vedam Jitendriyam Budhimatam Varishtam Vatatma Jamvanar Yuta Mukhyam Shiram Dutam Sharanam Prabhade Nilam Bhujam Shamal Komalangam Sita Samaru Patibam Bhagyam Panu Mahasayak Charu Chapam Namani Ramam Raghuvan Sanatham Ram Ramay Ram Bhadraya Ram Chandraya Vedase Raghunathaya Nathaya Sitaye Pataye Namah Om Shanti 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 Hari Om We join together firstly in chanting Rama in Sumiran to the blessings of Bhagavan Vishnu, the blessings of Lord Rama. Even the impossible becomes possible. Jesus. 
मीरत से भी हो गणनायक करीवरम कर वो अनुग्रह सो शुभ गुण सदम वो कहो बाचारीवर गम जा सुखी पासुद वो सफल कली मन गम नील सो सागर सैनम कुंड सम Especially dedicated our thoughts to Ganesh Bhagwan as we glorify that divine Lord Ganapati Devata. At the feet of Lord Ganesh lies all success 
and happiness and auspiciousness, that devotee who secures the blessings of Ganapati Devata certainly attains success in his various undertakings. Nisadinamo Ganapati Charan O devotee, meditate upon that most benevolent form of Ganesh Bhagavan who removes all trials and tribulations from the pathway of his devotees. Nisidin Namo Ganapati Charan Nisidin Namo Ganapati Charan Nisidin Namo Ganapati Charan Ganapati Charan Jagadukha Haran Ganapati Charan Jagadukha Haran Nisidin Namo Ganapati Charan Nisidin Namo Ganapati Charan Santap Sab Man Ke Har Mangal Sada Ganapati Kare Santap Sab Man Ke Har Mangal Sada Ganapati Kare Man Kar Raha Pratha Smaran मन कर रहा प्राथा स्मरन निस दिन नामो गणपति चरण निस दिन नामो गणपति चरण गणपति चरण जग दुख हरण गणपति चरण जग दुख हरण निस दिन नामो गणपति चरण Jagadukha Haran Nisidin Namo 
श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय वी ऑल्सो पे अवर सैल्यूटेशन टू श्री सरस्वती माता विथ ब्लेसिंग्स वी रिसीव एन अंडरस्टैंड द डिवाइन चरित्र ऑफ राम चरित्र मानस सरस्वती माता की जय अनाउ डिवोटीज फ्रॉम बाल कांड ऑफ राम चरित्र मानस वी नाउ बिगिन अवर कथा लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू इमर्स अवर टॉर्स अपॉन दैट मोस्ट वंडर्स ब्यूटीज फॉर्म ऑफ भगवान श्री रामचंद्र 
as we join together in this uh, wonderful narration taken from the pages of uh, Ram Charitramanas. सतरूपा जिनते भय नर सृष्टि अनूपा दंपति धर्म अचरण नीका अजहु गाव शुटी जिन कैली का इंटरनाइज कथा वीर ऑफ राज मनु एंड क्वीन सतरूपा देवी देव राजा और रानी किंग एंड क्वीन माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दे गवर्न ओवर मोस्ट प्रॉस्परस किंगडम righteous kingdom the king had wealth and riches beyond which any one can desire to possess he had three wonderful children the eldest son his name was utanpar he became the father of dhruv and if you are familiar with hindu katha you would know bhakt dhruv was a mahabhakt a great devotee of lord vishnu He eventually got darshan of Bhagwan Vishnu. They had a younger son whose name was Priyavrat. He is 
highly glorified in the pages of Devi Bhagavad Puran, he actually got darshan of Shashti Mata. When his child, his son was born and who died shortly after birth, my dear friends, Shashti Mata appeared to Raja Priyavrata and instructed him to perform Shashti Devi Puja in order for the benefit of his son's livelihood. And by performing Shashti Mata Pujan, the deceased son of Raja Priyavrat was returned to life. And so from that point in time, of course, Shashti Puja is being performed or has been performed after the birth of our children. On the six days, what people would normally call the Chati, or the six days, my dear friends, Shashti Mata Puja is supposed to be performed on that day in order to prevent premature death, in order to safeguard the life of the infant and for good health and so on. And they had one daughter, Devahuti, who became married to that great sage, Karamdam, and she gave birth to Kapil. Now, Kapil Muni is a great and powerful Muni, my dear friends, uh, one who was a great Mahabhakta of Shankar Bhagwan. Now, Tulsi Das, she outlines this for us to paint a picture, my dear friends, uh, of the wonderful life, the family life of this king. Raja Manu and the Queen Satrupa Devi. In the aspect of family life, they had wonderful children and grandchildren as well. Individuals who themselves became great bhaktas of Devi Durga Mata, of Vishnu Bhagwan and Shiva Shankar Bhagwan. The kingdom was wealthy and prosperous. They themselves were wealthy and prosperous. Yet one day the king said to the queen, Orani Satrupa, I feel as though there's a certain emptiness in our lives. Now what could possibly be missing from their lives, my dear friends? The average individual, he desires to have a home. The king had a great mahal, a big palace. The average individual desires to have some land and wealth and riches. The king, my dear friends, as we already described, had more wealth and riches than anyone can desire to possess. Each individual looks to have a wonderful family, children and grandchildren. We have outlined the three children and the grandchildren of the King Raja Manu and the Queen Satrupa Devi. So why does he say to the Queen that I feel as though something is lacking, there is something missing in our lives, O Satrupa Devi? And so she inquires of him, tell me, O oh, Raja, tell me, what possibly can be missing in our lives? And he says to her, we have reached that stage of sannyas, Rani Satrupa. And at this point in time in our lives, we should not be sitting upon this throne anymore. We should give up this kingdom in the hands of our children and take up that life of sannyas. Janam Tera Janam Tera Janam Tera Janam Tera This bhajan explains my dear friends as the king is describing to the queen Satrupa Devi of course of the four stages of life Brahmachar Grihast Van Prashtan Sanyas saying to her that they have reached that fourth stage of sannyas and now he's recommending and suggesting to her that they take up the life of sannyas in the forested regions by relinquishing their kingdom and giving up the governance of that kingdom in the hands of their children. Janam Tera Janam Tera Janam Tera Janam Tera Janam Tera Bato Hita Krishna Gayo Bhisa 
बरस की अब मत उपजी इस बरस की इस बरस की अब मत उपजी लोग भयो मिच नैयो लोग भयो मिच नैयो माया जोरी तूने लाख करोरी माया जोरी तूने लाख करोरी पर कब होना क्रेध भयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो जन्म तेरा बात ही बीत गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो भयो तब आन से उपजी वृद्ध भयो तब आन से उपजी वी स्पेंड द यूथफुल डेज ऑफ अवर लाइफ माई डेयर फ्रेंड्स चेसिंग आफ्टर रनिंग आफ्टर द सेंस यूर ग्रैटिफिकेशन प्लेस ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड इन सेड ऑफ सरेंडरिंग टू दी माई लोड भगवान कृष्ण भगवान श्री रामचंद्र overtaken by the delusion blinded by the maya and delusion of this world we lose our way the only way to clear this blindness to remove this delusion my dear friends is to chant the name of shri hari by so doing that divine light of enlightenment would enter into our lives my dear friends showing us that path of bhakti and devotion that leads us back into the safe and secure embrace of krishna bhagwan भयो तब आन से उपजी वृद्ध भयो तब आन से उपजी सब नित कंत रहो सब नित कंत रहो संघति का बहुना तीन ही रतूने संघति का बहुना तीन ही रतूने पर गिरता जन्म गयो रे तूने कब हुना कृष्ण गयो जन्म तेरा बात बीत गयो रे तूने कब हुना कृष्ण गयो पाँच बरस का भोला भाला अब तो बीस भयो मकर पचीसी माया कारण देश विदेश गयो इस बरस की अब मत उपजी लोग भये मित नैयो माया जोरी तूने लाख करोरी पर अब हुना वृद्ध भयो प्रेत भयो तब आन से उपजी तब नित कंत रहो संघति का बहुना तीन ही रतूने पर गिरता जन्म गयो ये संसार मत लब क्या लो भी ये संसार मत लब क्या लो भी 
जूता साथ रचो जूता साथ रचो कहत कवि कहत कबीर समझ रे मन मूरख कहत कबीर समझ रे मन मूरख अब क्यों भूल गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो जन्म तेरा का तो ही भीत गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो जन्म तेरा का तो ही भीत गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो रे तूने कब होना कृष्ण गयो प्रेम सुबली सीतापति रामचंद्र की जय कबीर दास माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल भजन हैज डिस्क्राइब्ड दैट इज फोर स्टेजेस ऑफ लाइफ टू विश द किंग Raja Manu is reminding the queen that we have reached that fourth stage of life o oh, satrupa yet we remain in this kingdom our place now belongs with the sanyasis the rishis and munis the sant and the sadhus in the forested regions so kabiri das in this bhajan outlines my dear friends brahmachara grihast van prastan sanyas four stages of life which is so divided my dear friends to give us the greatest success that when we focus on what is required at each stage my dear friends it brings to us that success that we desire by focusing our energies on what is recommended what is required and what is important at that particular stage of life you know commonly sometimes if children are misbehaving the parent may say may say to them act your age what does it mean behave in accordance with that stage of life that you are at so what is required in brahmachar the brahmachar is a student and today the students are going to school but they are focused on things other than their studies and what happens when exam time comes up because they were focused on other things and i don't have to tell you you look at all the videos now on youtube they're fighting they're having drugs in school they're carrying weapons in school so if you're focused on other things beside that which you're supposed to be focused on when of course the time of exams and and, and so on comes up it reflects in the poor performance isn't it so if you're a student focus on being a student be the best student that you can be so that first stage of life my dear friends of brahmachar is dedicated and designated as that student stage and when of course when we engage in studies at that time not just academic studies my dear friends it brings to us you know spiritual awareness and spiritual awakening as well the second stage is grihas ashram the householder stage the stage of marriage where we accept the societal responsibilities of bringing forth a family into this world we have the stage of van prasth the stage where we begin to renounce this world and we have the stage of sanyas that of total renunciation which is a stage that raja manu and satrupa devi have reached and this is why he saying to her we must now relinquish this kingdom and take up the life of sanyas now in satyug each stage of life was allotted 100 years you lived in brahmachar for 100 in grihas for 100 van prashan sanyas for 100 making a total of 400 years in other words people lived to be 400 years old in fact there are documented cases in devi bhagavat puran katha for instance of satyavan who lived to be in excess of 100 years but we do not live in satyug we now live in kali yug the shortest 
of the four yugas. In this Kali Yuga, each stage of life is allotted 25 years. So we live in Brahmachar for 25, Grihas for 25, Vanprasth and Sanyas for 25, making a total of 100 years. But you will notice, devotees, even that 100 years has become too difficult for us. Now we have very few who will make it to that ripe old age of 100. So you would notice we have gone from 400 years in Satyuga to 100 in Kali Yuga. Three quarters of the time, my dear friends, has disappeared. In Satyuga, Dharma was supported on 16 pillars. In Kali Yuga, Dharma is supported on four pillars. Let me give you a common example. If you build a house and it had 16 pillars or 16 posts, and you take away 12 and you leave it with four, what is going to happen to the house? The house is going to become very unstable, very shaky, isn't it? Dharma, society, my dear friends, similarly was supported on 16 pillars in Satyuga. Now it's, it's supported on four. Satyam, Saucham, Daya, or Dan. And even these four are becoming eroded. And who is eroding the strength of these pillars? We. Satyam is truthfulness or honesty. Of course, truthfulness is disappearing, my dear friends, in today's society. Saucham is purity. Not the external purity, you know, to bathe and use soap and shampoo and so on. The internal purity. And what are those things that make us internally impure? Anger and greed and jealousy and abhiman. These are the impurities of the inside. And which soap cleanses this? That of bhakti, of devotion, of spirituality, of enlightenment. Daya is mercy or compassion. And dan is to give and help others who are in a state of need, my dear friends. So these four are the pillars that support dharma in this age of Kali Yuga. But as we say, even these four, my dear friends, are being eroded away by our own actions. Here, humans are the agent of erosion. In geography, when the school go to school, when the children go to school, they learn that the wind is an agent of erosion. The water is an agent of erosion. But that's for the landforms and so on around us. But we, my dear friends, are the agent of erosion that is taking away the stability of society. So when we are comparing that in Satyug, average life expectancy was 400 years, and we come to Kali Yug, and average life expectancy is 100 years, and we wonder what has happened. We must look at ourselves. For we are the ones, my dear friends, that is slowly taking away, taking away, subtracting, removing the years that we're supposed to spend in this world. Mere Ram, Mere Ram. And it says, it is bhajan. Mere man me hai Ram, Mere tan me hai Ram. Shri Ram is in my mind and my body. Mere Roma Roma me samaya Ram hai. He is in every pore of my being. The Divine Lord brings success and happiness and fulfillment of all goals and desires. So this is what the King Raja Manu and Satrupa Devi are seeking, my dear friends. In fact, this is what all of us are seeking, that happiness and the fulfillment of goals and desires. But sometimes we go about finding that happiness, searching for that happiness in the wrong places. Right here, at the feet of Bhagawan Sri Ramchandra, true happiness lies. Mere Ram, Mere Ram, Mere Ram, Mere Ram, Mere Man. 
तन में है राम मेरे तन में है राम मेरे रोम रोम समय राम है मेरे सासों में तेरा ही नाम है हो मेरे सासों में तेरा ही नाम है मेरे राम मेरे राम Ramachandra ki jai. Let us go to this next show of I. As Sushi Das, she continues to describe to us this wonderful katha. Hey. 
बस राज सुत ही कबीरा सुत ही कबीरा नारी समीत गवन बन जय राम श्री राम पुनीत साधक सीधी दाता बोलो जय राम श्री राम अरे सौर सिंह कहता बसराज सुत ही तब दीन नारी समेत गवन बन की तीरथ वर निक्ष बिख्याठा अति पुनीत साधक सिद्धि धाठा इट इज बिलीव दट सत्युग माई डेयर फ्रेंड्स देज ऑफ सत्य ऑफ ट्रूथ ऑफ ऑनेस्टी was the greatest of the four yugas apart from giving that allotment of 400 years to live my dear friends society at that time was not plagued by the violence and imp- impurity and immorality that we see today that we witness today such yug my dear friends was that age of purity and some say they wish they were living at that time my dear friends all of us all of us without exception lived at that time in such yuga as well this is not the first yuga and this is not the first janam that we are here for as bhagwan krishna says in the pages of shrimad bhagavad gita he was saying to arjuna o oh arjun this is not the first time you are here you too were here in the purva janam you are here now o oh arjun and your time would expire and you would have to re-enter into this avagaman into the cycle of birth and death once more so all of us lived in satyug and treta yug and dwapar yug and now we live in kali yug as well the shortest of the four yugas 
You see, you must look at the time allotment for each of the yugas. Satyug, for instance, is in excess of 16 million years. Treta Yuga is in excess of 12 million years. Dwapar in excess of 8 million years. And Kali Yuga, which is the shortest of the four yugas, is around 4 million years old. Now if you add them up, 16 plus 12 plus 8 and 4, my dear friends, you're going to get close to the scientific dating of this universe. Archaeologists will tell you, you know, when they dig up the fossils and so on, and by precise scientific methods, they say this world could be around 60 million years old. Some religions go back 2,000 years and they say there is no other way but their way. Not understanding, my dear friends, the vast timeline of this universe. This universe is not just 2,000 years old. So science agrees with the Hindu concept of time. And the age of this universe that Sanatana Dharma Hinduism documented as the oldest known religion to man has been around for as long as this universe has been around. So yes, some desire to live in Satyug. I want to tell you, my dear friends, we all lived in Satyug. We all lived in Treta and Dwapad and we now live in Kali Yug. My dear friends, of course, our time, our sense of re recollection of that time, we do not have that power, that ability to recollect this, my dear friends. But we know, as Bhagwan Krishna himself states, that we are all the travelers in this world. Ata hai, jata hai. We come and go. We're born into this world and we die and leave this world. All of us are part, my dear friends, of this cycle of birth and death. This Avagaman Chakra, this cycle, my dear friends, of being born into this world and dying and leaving this world. Admi Musafir hai. Aata hai, jata hai Aate jate raste me Yaate chhod jata hai Aadmi musafir hai Aata hai, jata hai Aate jate raste me Yaate chhod jata hai क्या 
साथ लाए क्या तोर आए क्या साथ लाए क्या तोर आए रस्ते में हम क्या क्या छोर आए रस्ते में हम क्या क्या छोर आए मंजिल पे जाके याद आता है आदमी मुसाफिर है आता है जाता है आते जाते रस्ते में यादें छोर जाता है जब दौलती है जीवन की नैया जब दौलती है जीवन की नैया कोई तो बन जाता है कि रैया कोई तो बन जाता है कि रैया कोई किनारे पे डूब जाता है आदमी मुसाफिर है आता है जाता है आते जाते रस्ते में यादें छोर जाता है यादें छोर जाता है यादें छोर जाता है प्रेम से बोले सीतापति रामचंद्र की जय एंड सो माई फ्रेंड्स मेकिंग दिस डिटर्मिनेशन द किंग एंड द क्वीन कॉल योर फैमिली टुगेदर कॉल योर चिल्ड्रन टुगेदर रिमेंबर थ्री चिल्ड्रन उतन पद द एल्डर सन प्रिया पद द यंगर सन देव हूटी द डॉटर एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन एन एक्विटेबल मैनर अमोंग्स द थ्री चिल्ड्रन द किंगडम एंड द वेल्थ एंड विच इज that he possessed giving advice to the children to live a disciplined life to live an honorable life to continue upholding the rule of law and the dharmic virtues and values that the parents had taught to them the king raja manu and satrupa devi my dear friends felt assured they were confident that the children would follow in their footsteps my dear friends and continue you know this wonderful governance over this kingdom that the parents had started my dear friends the lesson of these parents is very important for all parents to do they were king and queen yes but we all have my dear friends a certain responsibility you know to transfer certain values and certain customs religious practices cultural values to our children not just to transfer the land and sign over the land and the house and so on they gave this to them and then what did they do they sat with them and as parents they had that communication with the children live responsibly live honorably uphold dharma sadly this is not a conversation that many parents have with their children today we say matri deva bhava pitri deva bhava mother and father the first god and the first guru but what are we teaching the children today my dear friends sadly you know when we look at the behavior the lifestyle of some of our young people my dear friends we come to the clear, clear conclusion that very little is being taught to many of our young people who have lost their way who have abandoned my dear friends all virtues and values so much so that sometimes when the parents leave this world sometimes one year two years three years later my dear friends everything is lost 
They gamble it away, they drink it away, they squander it away, my dear friends. Because, you know, you can give them everything. But if you do not give them the lessons of life, the values of life, then, my dear friends, you have not given anything to them, really. It's a wonderful example, my dear friends. Taking all their wealth and riches. Now, some may say, this king has to be mad. Vacating his throne whilst he is alive, you know, today rulers, leaders, the leaders of countries, of uh, prime ministers and presidents and so on today, they hold on to power. My dear friends, sometimes they become very old and almost senile and yet they're holding on to power. You know, that's human nature and desire, you know, not wanting to give up and release and relinquish power and wealth and riches and so on. Here... This king and the queen, these parents, my dear friends, give it all to their children. As Bhagavan Krishna says in the pages of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, what is yours today was someone else's yesterday and will become someone else's tomorrow. This sense of ownership, all of this is mine. Bhagavan says, Nahi, in reality, even this body does not belong to us. And so the king and queen, my dear friends, they had this knowledge. They had this understanding. And this is why they so unhesitatingly. They gave up their kingdom and wealth and riches, my dear friends. And taking off the beautiful garments of the war as king and queen, the beautiful crown and other jewels that, that you know, adorned their bodies as the royalty in that kingdom, my dear friends. They left everything behind, you know in the hands of their children and now began their journey into the forest. Their desire, they wanted to get darshan of Lord Vishnu, to see Bhagwan, not in murti and picture form, which is good, nothing is wrong with that, but they want to see Bhagwan in person. Hey, Akhvo. जो शाम का दर्शन किया खरे है शीश जो प्रभु चरण में बंधन किया खरे I mean this indeed this भजन describes है आँख वो जो शाम का दर्शन किया खरे the eyes are forgetting दर्शन of भगवान है शीश जो प्रभु चरण में बंधन की आंख करी, the head is for bowing to the feet of भगवान। बेकार वो मुख है जो रहे व्यर्थ बात में, मुख वो है जो हरि नाम का सुमिरन की आंख करी, the voice is for singing his glories, mantras and bhajans and so on। खीरे मोती से नहीं शोभा है हाथ की। Hey heart, jo bhagwan ka poojan ki aankhari. The hands are for doing what? Pooja. For taking flowers and offering to bhagwan, parasad and offering to bhagwan. And completing our poojan in this manner. Mara kara bhi amara naam hai isa jeeva ka jaga me prabhu prema se bali daana do. Jeevan ki aankhari. The feet are for taking us to the mandir and the satsang and yagya and poojan and so on. This is a promise we made to Bhagwan. Bless me with these attributes, O oh Lord, and I will use these human attributes for this purpose, as it is as it is described in this bhajan. And sometimes we take these gifts for granted, devotees. Of course, you know there are those who are born blind, and then there are those who are born with sight and become blind. They lose their sight as they age. There are those who are born without the sense of hearing. They're born deaf. Or they become deaf as they live their lives. There are those who are born without hands. We have very famous examples of this right here. And despite, you know, the setback and handicap and so on, they still become, you know, talented and great intellectuals. You ever see someone typing with their tools? 
Yes. Become a computer whiz. Sometimes more brilliant than people who have all the fingers and cannot type as fast as one who are born without hands and who type with the toes. Sometimes we take these gifts for granted, my dear friends. But it is said, whilst we are yet in the womb of our mothers, we made that promise to Bhagwan. Bless me with these attributes, O Lord, and I will use it for the purpose of devotion to you, to your Lord's life for eternity. है आँख वो जो शाम का दर्शन की आँख रे है शीश जो प्रभु चरण में बंधन की आँख रे बेकार वो मुख है जो रहे व्यर्थ बातों में बेकार वो मुख है जो रहे व्यर्थ बातों में मुख वो है जो हरि नाम का सुमिरन किया खरे खीरे मोती से नहीं शोभा है हाथ की है हाथ जो भगवान का पूजन किया खरे मर कर भी अमर नाम है इस जीव का जग में प्रभु प्रेम से बलिदान दो जीवन की आखरे ऐसी लागी लगन ऐसी लागी लगन ऐसी लागी लगन ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन वो तो गली गली हरी गुल गाने लगी महलों में कली बन के जोगन चली महलों में कली बन के जोगन चली मेरा रानी दीवानी कहाने लगी ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन सागर में सरिता समाने लगी राना ने विष दिया मानो अमृत पिया मेरा सागर में सरिता समाने लगी दुख लाखों सहे 
मुक्ष गोविंद कहे मेरा प्रेमी प्रीतम को मनाने लगी वो तो गली गली हरी गुन गाने लगी ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन वो तो गली गली हरी गुन गाने लगी महलों में पली बन के जो गन चली मीरा रानी दीवानी कहाने लगी ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन ऐसी लागी लगन मेरा हो गए मगन प्रेम सोली सीता पति रामचंद्र की जय दिस दोहा तुलसीदास जी डिस्क्राइब्स दैट राजा मनु एंड शत्रुपा देवी अराइव इन द नई मिशार इन या फॉरेस्ट अक्षर मंत्र पुनी जप ही सहित अनुराग हो रामा जप ही सहित अनुराग वासुदेव पर पंकर वासुदेव पर पंकर दंपति मन अखिलाग सिया पति रामचंद्र की जय शरण द्वारश अक्षर मंत्र पुनि जप ही सहित अनुराग वासुदेव बर पंकर दंपति मन अतिलाग वेन द ऋषिज एंड मुनीस लर्न दट मनु एंड शत्रुपा वो कमिंग टू द फॉरेस्ट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इमीडिएटली दे लेफ्ट वॉट दे वो डूइंग एंड वॉट वे दे डूइंग दे वो डूइंग तपस्या इन द फॉरेस्ट This is what the rishis and munis would engage in doing: constant repetition of the name of Bhagwan Sri Ram Chandra. Vangni ki muni, for instance, you know, by constantly chanting the name Ram, he transformed himself from Narantak into the holy and great sage Vangni ki muni. So, in other words, Vangni ki muni was not always so noble and intelligent and spiritual and honourable. At one time, he was a thief, and it was pointed out to him the heavy burden of sins you are incurring, O Narantak, would bring about great suffering and torment as you advance in your life's journey, as you become older, and even when you leave this world and you enter into Yamlok, this burden of sinfulness. by stealing and hurting others uh, would bring you great torment uh, and suffering and he decided to change his life but he inquired how can i change how can i remove this burden of sinfulness from my shoulders and you see my dear friends bhagwan always gives us an avenue to change and to transform our lives and he was told chant the name rama by chanting rama rama unarantak you transform your life and so Narantak my dear friend sat down and he 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 wanted to perform this tapasya and chant the name Ram 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 but you know his mind was so corrupted my dear friends the name Rama could not come to his mind in in, in fact instead he started to chant Mara well of course the initial syllable of one word is the end syllable of the other So instead of chanting Rama, he chanted Mara. But chanting Mara, Mara continuously, my dear friends, the syllables and the sounds flowed into each other, and inadvertently he ended up chanting Rama. And so that Narantak, my dear friends, was transformed. He became a new person. You know, he shed all bad habits 
and behavior and so on and became the holy sage um, Valmiki Muni. So we too can transform our lives, my dear friends, as uh, Narantak had done into Valmiki Muni, as this great King Raja Manu and Satrupa are doing, you know, as the Rishis and Munis leave their chanting, their tapasya behind, and they come to the outskirts of that name Mishar in your forest, where the sacred river Gomati flows. The Gomati River, by the way, is a tributary of Ganga. So it is considered equally as auspicious and pure and divine as the holy river Ganga itself. And so they meet them on the banks of the Gomati River, and here they instruct them to have a celestial bath and this bath my dear friends is not just for the physical cleansing but it represented the full shedding of all ties to the material world and of course that name is in your forest represented my dear friends that entrance into the spiritual sanctuary my dear friends and it is called the spiritual sanctuary for there you are not you know bombarded by the lures and temptations and so on of this world as we are surrounded by so many distractions and so on so you know sometimes we're supposed to be fasting you know i went to the puja once at this home and normally the wife and husband the dulahan and dulahin sit down to do all puja together and on this occasion dulahin alone is sitting so i'm inquiring of him what has happened why are you not sitting to the puja he says baba what happened i meet a friend I have seen him 15 years. He's living in England and he came home for holiday and he asked me to take a drink with him. So I say you could drink Soplegen. That's a drink too. Why does it have to be alcohol? Why did you break your fast? You know, because of that, you know. So that discipline, my dear friends, is important. And the Rishis and Munis, my dear friends, will begin now to instruct Manu and Satrupa, how to cultivate and to maintain this discipline. And this pattern would, would describe to us, you know, exactly how they go about uh, uh, cultivating this discipline. The first thing they advise them to do is to change their diet. What did they eat? Kand Moolapal, roots, fruits, and shoots. Narahari, Narahari, Chanchala hai, Matimiri. ऐसी भक्ति करूं मैं तेरी What type of bhakta am I going to become O Lord when my mind is so chanchal What does the word chanchal mean Never stable always flittering and fluttering from one place to the other from one thought to the other if you ever visit the zoo and you see the monkey inside the cage, what does he do? The monkey is always jumping from this side to that side. He never sits still. So if the mind is always fluttering, my dear friends, in this way, never stable, then what type of bhakti am I going to perform? What type of devotee would I become? Bless me with the stability of thoughts an energy oh lord so that i can become more focused and you see my dear friends the focus is not just for uh, puja and mandir and so on that focus assists us it enables us in all aspects of our lives whether you are the student in school that focus is important to achieve excellence and success in your studies whether you are the worker in whatever occupation you are if you have that focus then you would also become successful in your chosen career and occupation even if you're home and you focus on what you're doing at home the home would become a better place as well
नरहरि नरहरि चंचल है मति मेरी कैसी भक्ति करू मैं तेरी नर हरि नर हरि नर हरि चंचल है मति मेरी कैसी भक्ति करू नहीं तेरी कैसे भक्ति करू नहीं तेरी Vishnu Bhagwan ki jai. And so my dear friends, acting upon the instructions of the Rishis and Munis, we now accompany them after taking that bath on the Gomati River, after instructing them to consume that Sattvic Bhojan, Kanda, Moola, Pal. You know, the types of Bhojan in three categories is closely associated with the three Gunas or the three forms or modes of behavior. Indeed, there is an old saying, you are what you eat. What you eat influences your thoughts, your words, and your actions. We say man karam or vachan. It should be in thought, word, and deed. And the food we eat, my dear friends, has an impact upon what we think, how we speak, and how we behave. Not to mention, of course, it has an impact upon our health, now we're finding out more and more, of course, the importance of the type of foods we're eating and the link it has to the many ailments, the health conditions that plague our people today, from the diabetes to the heart conditions and so on. Of course, you would know from your research that many of the foods we eat, such as meat and so on, is highly laden with cholesterol, which does what? It builds up. On the arteries inside the arteries that plaque begins to narrow the arteries my dear friends until such time when you know the blood cannot flow anymore and then what happens we talk about things like heart attack and stroke and so on but it all results with the food that we eat and now more and more people are finding out they're doing the research and more and more people are turning to the vegetarian diet which is being recommended right here in the pages of Ram Charitramanas unfortunately sometimes it is not until such time as the doctors give us an ultimatum. The doctor might say, look, you only have three more months, you know. If you don't change this, what you eat, what you drink, and it's only when the doctor gives us that ultimatum, we say, yes, doc, I will change. When we're getting it for free, from the pages of our holy scriptures, Ram Charitamanas, as we say, pass through one air and fly out the next side without making any... Um, 
effect upon us. My dear friends, this advice is for free. It's the same advice a doctor would give to you. All the nutritionists and health experts would give to you is what advice has been given to Manu and Satrupa. So it benefits us spiritually as well as physically. You know, the vegetarian diet. And you know, it may not sound so fancy and lavish when he says to them, eat kand, mool, pal, roots, fruits and shoots. You know, people like to have lavish and fancy meals. But of course, again, the doctors will tell you at least five servings of fruits for the day. They tell you about the roots having all the fiber and, you know, all the wholesome and nutrition and so on. You see, when we read the Qatar, my dear friends, that this is the advice given to Manu and Satrupa. We must apply it to our own lives today as well. We must see how relevant it is to us today as well. We must see, my dear friends, I want to tell you one of the most disappointing and depressing things is, you know, sometimes Baba is called to the hospital, somebody is sick, and you, you know, they say, Baba, come, you must come and pray and jhari and so on. And you know, sometimes, you know, uh, when we have the time, we do go along to the board and um, pray and do what is necessary, jhari and so on, for those who are ill. And if you've ever gone to the ward, my dear friends, you know, sometimes people are diabetic and they have to cut a limb. Hmm? Sometimes your foot is cut, sometimes the hand is cut. And if you look at the composition of the people in the ward, You would see it's predominantly, my dear friends, our own people. If you ever visit the hospital, look at that ward. Foot is cut, and you survey the ward, you walk through the ward, and you will see it's predominantly our own people. Who is not heeding the advice, my dear friends, and who continue, you know, consuming type of diet and so on that is not recommended and not good at all. So you see the spiritual advice that comes from Ram Charitramanas, my dear friends, has life implications for us as well. That when we accept it, when we absorb it, when we practice it, as we say, it benefits us spiritually, first and foremost, but also physically, we become healthier individuals by accepting the wonderful advice given here in the pages of Rama and Katha. And so, they accompany the Rishis and Munis into the Naimi Shalini forest, my dear friends. And they gave them a very powerful mantra to use. You say to them, by using this mantra, you would get Darshan. Why are you here, O king? Why have you left your kingdom to come to this forest with the queen? And the king had said to them, we desire to have darshan of Lord Vishnu. We want to see him physically, in person, in front of us. And they gave them a mantra, my dear friends. Dwarasha Akshara Mantra Puni, a mantra of 12 syllables. In other words, it's not a very long mantra, it's a short mantra. By using this one mantra, Manu and Satrupa, got darshan of Lord Vishnu. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo 
नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम 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 नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय One devotee said, Hinduism is so hard. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to pray. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Some say that's so hard. The children, when they now begin to speak, three, four years old, could say, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. One mantra they use to get the darshan of Lord Vishnu. Shiv Puran tells us, Upmuni chanted, Om Namah Shivai. This one is 12 syllables, that one is 5 syllables, Panch Akshad. How difficult it is? One of the most difficult things is some of the people, my dear friends, not the religion, not the dharma. Some of the people make it difficult because they themselves are difficult to deal with. Panch Akshad Mantra, Om Namah Shivai, Upmuni, attain the blessings of Shankar Bhagwan. Even if you can say Ram, Krishna, Bhagwan says, this is sufficient. Call my name and my blessings would be delivered on to you. It is not difficult, my dear friends. Sometimes it's our own perception, you know, our own attitude that makes these things difficult. And so they're chanting, um, the Dwarash Akshad Mantra, of course, glorifying uh, Lord Vishnu and of course, Bhagwan Vishnu uh, witnesses. He takes note of their devotion. And uh, my dear friends, always, you know, Bhagwan ensures the sincere and genuine nature of our devotion. And when he had, when he was satisfied, you know, with the devotion of Manu and Satrupa, he gave darshan to them, he appeared before them and says to them, I am pleased with your devotion. Ask for whatever is your heart's desire. प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना Bless us with a gift O Lord A gift of a child a son who would embody and possess all your divine qualities and characteristics बैकुंठ तो यही है हृदय में रहा करना Come with me to Vaikuntha Lok Spend some time with me in my heavenly abode He says to Manu and Satrupa And then you would be reborn as Dashrat and Kaushalya in Ayodhya And then I will fulfill this, this, this desire This Vardhan that you have asked of me प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना देखूं तो यही है हृदय मेरा करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना पूजे की राग बन कर दीना की 
बनते भूखे की राग बनकर पीना की ताज बनते प्रभु देव नाच मेरे गिर गए ये प्यार बनते गिर गए ये प्यार बनते हर राग नींद के धुन पर स्वर बन के उठा करना बैकुल तो यही है हृदय निरमा करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना चेंगे मोर बन कर ये शाम तेरे द्वारे नाचेंगे मोर बन कर ये शाम तेरे द्वारे हम शाम छाय रहना बन कर के मेघ तारे बन कर के धारे हम वित्त की धार बन कर प्यासे पे दया करना गई कुछ तो यही है गिर गए मेरा ना करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना तो यही है फिर गए मेरा करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना प्रभु हम पे कृपा करना प्रभु हम पे दया करना प्रेम से बोले श्री महाविष्णु भगवान की जय सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स डी ए वरदान वॉज फुलफिल द पर्पज ऑफ लिविंग द किंगडम बिहाइंड एंड कमिंग टू द फॉरेस्ट वॉज फुलफिल सो वी विल स्टॉप अब कथा द स्टेज एंड ऑफकोर्स एस यू मैंशन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ कथा मिसेस सूरज बाली देव इज सेलिब्रेटिंग हिज जन्मदिन टू डी इन फैक्ट ही सेलिब्रेटिंग His 65th birthday today, and so before we go on to final arati, we have a special dedication to him, a birthday song that we dedicate to, to you as you celebrate your Janam Din. May Bhagwan continue to bless you with good health and happiness, and many more happy and healthy years in the future. Unnhi. <laughs> So once again, may Bhagwan's choicest blessings be bestowed upon you as you celebrate your Janam Din. May He continue to bless you with good health and happiness, and of course, many more happy years and healthy years in the future. At this point in time, khara ho jaye. Let us all stand as we join together in the Ramayan Arati. Ba. 
गीत पावन जानकी जीवन सीता मोहन राम जय जय राम 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 बोल राम राम सीता राम 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 बोल राम 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 जय जय राम 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 सीता राम 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 जय जय राम राम Let us all bow our heads in this final prayer. We give thanks to Bhagwan for His blessings that has enabled us to come together this evening and being part of this evening's devotion, starting with Pooja and of course uh, following up with Satsang. We pray that Bhagwan's blessings will be richly bestowed upon members of this family for the hosting of this evening's of devotion, and indeed all devotees who have come together to be part of tonight's devotion. May Bhagwan's blessings continue to keep you safe. May you continue to protect us and safeguard us, O oh Lord, against all dangers and difficulties. Mantra hinam kriya hinam bhakti hinam janadhanam yat pujita maya revam pari purnam tarastume tuami vamata chapita tuami var. त्वमेव बंधुष सखा त्वमेव त्वमेव विद्याद्रविनमेव त्वमेव सर्व मम देव देव ओं शाति 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 हरि ओम प्रेम से बोले श्री गजानन स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की पवन सुत हनुमान की शिव वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की उदय सा जगन्नाथ की बोलो भाई सब संतन की सियापति रामचंद्र की जय सी ऑल वॉइसिस कलेक्टिवली श्री सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय जय सीता राम आसनी जी कैन बी सी टू दिवीज So you receive your arati panchamrit prasad and bhojan has been provided. And while you're receiving arati and so on, Navendra Dev is going to move a vote of thanks for us. Sita Rama, good night to all. On behalf of my family, I want to thank each and every one, Pandit Ji and group, for sharing this evening with us as we celebrate Dad's birthday by chanting and glorifying the Lord's name. Also, those who spend their day with us preparing meals, decorating everything. Thank you. Um, thank you, television. And meals are prepared. It is partake before they leave. And one request, thank you, na. While we cut cake, we like it to sing a song, please. काले कमले और के आए भक्तों के भगवान रे तेरी मेरी नई नई पहचान रे काले कमले और के आए भक्तों के भगवान रे तेरी मेरी नई नई पहचान रे के साने रूप दिखाया तन लहराया मन लहराया के साने रूप दिखाया तन लहराया मन लहराया बालक तेरे गुर में आया रखना इस कामान रे तेरी मेरी नहीं नहीं पहचान रे काली कमली और खियाई भक्तों के भगवान रे तेरी मेरी नहीं नहीं पहचान रे बिना हाथ तू भोजन करता बिन पाओ की चलता फिरता सब कुछ सुनता कुछ नहीं कहता 
अजब ये तेरी शाम रे तेरी मेरी नई नई पहचान रे ओम कम गणपति नमः। 